For a couple of years now, this golf brand has been waiting in the shadows to steal the business from all the big driver brands. Is today that day? The brand new Tour Edge Exotics C721 driver. Let's do it, and let's do it now. This is the one we're going to start on. Wow. I mean, as warm ups go, yes, please. Hi, everyone. James Robinson here, guys. First things first, I would like to warmly welcome you all to the channel. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel if you're not new to the channel. But, guys, if you are new to this channel, then welcome to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button before you do vacate. In this video, we're talking the brand new Tour Edge Exotics C721 driver. And I'm going to put it out there. It's, um, it's not entirely what you'd expect. You see, if I started this video talking to you about Ridgeback technology, about dual carbon wings, and about a sound diffusion panel, you'd think, well, what brand is he talking about there? Surely it's not Tor Edge. But in actual fact, that's exactly where I am starting this video. This driver is jam-packed full of technology, and I haven't even mentioned the adjustable neck and adjustable back weight. So when we talk tech, this thing's up there with the big boys. And when we talk sound, it might even be even better. This thing's one of the best sounding drivers that I've tested, let's put it out there, ever. And that obviously is down to the sound diffusion panels, which we'll get into later on in the video. I've also not mentioned yet, I know we're early days, but the Diamond Face 2.0. So if you've seen my reviews of the Tour Edge exotic drivers in the past, you will have seen we have the Diamond Face. This is Diamond Face 2. It's got to be better. And you may well notice I've gone a little bit bold with the title of this video. I'm not entirely sure what I've gone with yet, but it'll be something about this scaring the big boys. It'll be something about them stealing customers' golfers away from your Titleist, your TaylorMade, your Pings, your Callaways, all the big names. But then, is Tor Edge a big name in its own right? You see Tor players using it, you see senior Tor players using it. And, I mean, looking at this club, I mean, I know the lighting does it a whole load of favours because it looks outstanding here, but it just... It looks different in a good way. The Ridgeback technology is clear for everyone to see. It's a big um, ridge on the back of the driver. Pretty much says it in the name, doesn't it? Made out of titanium that runs along the back of the driver to allow for more power from the middle of the driver when you hit it out the center, but also for more flex in the toe and the heel for more ball speed from the off center hits, which is something which is quite a good idea, actually, and it looks fantastic. Because I must say, when I first tested this driver, when I tested it, when I first got this driver out of the box, I thought, oof, that's, um, that's an interesting look. But then, actually, when you do put it down at the side of the golf ball, it looks pretty good. And it actually looks a little bit smaller than maybe it does if you just get it out of the box or the bag, like I said. So, actually, don't judge this driver on first looks. Make sure you put it down at a ball, maybe even hit a few with it, and you might start to warm to it quite quickly like I have. Another area where this driver is starting to show off a little bit is in the components. You'll see here that I've got it in a 6.0 hazardous RDX smoke blue shaft, and I've also got it in a Lampkin crossline grip, so they're not scrimping on the components, but they're also not scrimping on the price. These are now £399, which I know isn't as expensive as quite a few drivers, but it's a little bit more expensive than maybe the Tour Edge drivers of the past. Is that going to put people off or is it going to make people realise that these guys are here to play and they're here to take the place of the bigger name brands? Potentially. Well, let's hit a couple more. Really enjoying the feel and the sound of this. Which is also a byproduct of that Ridgeback technology. So as well as the Ridgeback technology, we also have the dual carbon wings that we have here. That is designed for ultimate weight saving so that Tor Edge can manipulate the CG and put it exactly where you want it for that ultimate MOI. It even says here, extreme MOI. So it must be true. You'll see we've got the exchangeable back weight here. That's currently 10 grams, but you can get that in different weights to adjust the swing weight of this driver for exactly what you want. I'd definitely be looking at that with a fitter or with your coach. I wouldn't be trying to necessarily work it out for yourself. Let's go a couple more with this. Oh, that felt really good. Really good. On the odd occasion that is coming out a little bit high spin, 
you can't really argue with that ball flight. Additional weights for the back of this driver are available in five gram, 15 gram or 18 gram. So that's a four weight option for the back of the driver to change the swing weight as we mentioned. Also, going back to the new carbon wings, the C721 features 19% more carbon fiber. That's more than any other Tour Edge driver that has ever been produced. And they've also lowered the CG by 13% to improve launch characteristics. So you can start to see why that price has bumped up. There's plenty of R&D gone into this club and we've not yet mentioned properly the Diamond Cut 2.0 face. Two. So here you're asking, what is the Diamond Cut 2.0 face? And basically, it's very much like the variable face thickness as you do see in different drivers, but these are diamond shapes. So there's 43 different diamond shapes comprising of seven different thicknesses to allow for greater ball speeds around the face. Very, very similar to some of the stories you hear in the big name drivers. So Torred is taking that on. All in all, I think I've just about teched out there. I need, to, I need to, first of all, hit some shots, but then go and have a lie down. My brain's on fire. Oh, that felt really good. Again, just a little bit high on the spin. That was out the middle as well. That's left, is it? Oh no, I thought that was straight. I can't get over the sound of this driver. It sounds really, really, really good. A little bit disappointed in the price, I've got to say, thinking about it logically back. Like this is more expensive maybe than a Cobra driver, but then it's still more cheaper than a Titleist or Maybe a Callaway. Oh, I've left the face open a bit there. That's See, that always happens after the one that goes left. It's coming back a bit though. Right, three more shots, and then we're gonna have a look at how it's performed. And I must say my favorite bit of technology in this club is probably the sound diffusion panels because it um, diffuses the sound. You don't come here for the science, do you? Let's be fair. Right, I'm gonna knock this down a little bit because if you look at the options that's on this adjustable neck, um, I mean, it's nothing short of amazing, really. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on lower there and just see if by lowering the loft of this driver, we can maybe sneak just a tiny bit of distance out of it. Oh, love that sound. Now, obviously, by changing the orientation of the shaft for the adjustable neck, it has changed the graphics on it. That's something that Callaway do really, really, really well. But, I mean, that it doesn't... So no, if, you, if you want your playing partners to know what shaft you're using, then it's not all bad, is it? It's a good shaft, this one, and I can tell with the performance of it. Right, this looks really low lofted now. I'm going to have to nail this one. Oh, that's left. Ah, that's left, James. What? That's not my best today. Broke my tea as well. Broke my tea. Definitely, there's something in this for the feel and the sound. Definitely, the performance I don't think is going to be the creme de la creme, but just by taking that loft down as well, it's opened the face up a bit. And I know that last one was actually the worst shot of the day, dispersion wise, but now I do feel a bit more confident that I can maybe. That's absolutely, it's just spinning high. Right, couple more, couple more. That's the one. That's the one where by knocking this down, yeah, 270 carry, 28 spin, and actually pretty straight as well. So that is 10 shots hit with the Tor Edge Exotics C721. Is it? C721, got it right. I've been having to edit that out quite a while. 10 shots hit with the Tor Edge Exotics C721. How's it performed? Take a look. Right, dispersion, it's not, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> it's, there's four shots there, which have, you know what, they didn't even feel like bad shots, they've just turned a little bit too much in the air. I mean, we all, that sounds like every bad tee shot that's ever been hit, doesn't it? It wasn't bad, it just turned in the air. Um, not the best, but quite happy with, especially that last shot, you see how knocking the loft downs really helped me there. I think there's food for thought there, obviously. I've obviously just put some bad golf swings on there. What about the numbers? Average numbers for the Tour Edge C721, actually very, very impressed on average with that. You'll see how I've got a club edge speed of 105.8, ball speed of 157.3, and a spin of 2,482. Now there were a couple of shots in there that were quite high spin, so that's gonna brought the average up a little bit. I think realistically, if I'm 
properly swinging well, I could get this out there, especially since I adjusted the loft, I could get this out there maybe 2001 spin, maybe 2-2, which is ideal if it's a nice piercing ball flight. I'm very impressed with this. I don't think I've swung my best today. That's quite obvious. Not very often I do swing my best, but if you tested drivers every day, you probably won't swing your best either. Quite happy apart from, I think it's maybe just a bit too expensive, is it? 399, is that going to hold it back? But then on the Wilson side, I say that they're not expensive enough. So actually, you know what? No. I take my hat off to them, even with my terrible lockdown haircut. There's plenty of technology in there. Technology that I think works. Technology that sounds good, that feels good, that looks good as well. And we've got the adjustable hosel, which has got more adjustments than go-go gadgets. Oh, I was on to something really good then. Skateboard, I don't know what he uses. But pretty much very, very impressed with that. Tor Edge Exotics C720. Just think of an easier name, guys. C721 driver. For me, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Will I game it? It's, I don't know. Probably for the same reason you don't know. There'll be guys out there that swear by the Tor Edge exotic drivers, and I see exactly why. But does it set my world alight for £399? Don't know. It, de it definitely... I'm saying that. It's probably the best sounding driver I've hit. Confused. Have they rustled the big boy's feathers? I think so. If they put the money in the branding and like pay, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've left myself in the right muddle there. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed that. Smash that subscribe button if you want to. And uh, leave us a like. Apart from that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.